VRT is the power supply that supplies the power to the heating elements in the furnace. This is where the residual power is bled through the elements and operators on occasion have been mildly shocked. On Ibsen equipment, we supply a resistor from the secondary system to ground, which negates transient voltage on the heating elements. The installed resistors serve two primary functions in life. One is to negate transient voltages from the elements. Two, and most importantly, is a very useful tool for the maintenance man. Again, the first benefit of the resistors is stopping transient voltages from the elements to ground, which prevents you from being mildly shocked when servicing the equipment with the secondary power turned on to the RT. The secondary reason for the resistors, and most importantly, is the ability to troubleshoot the ceramics and ascertain the life cycle of your ceramics and when they need to be changed. A simple standard roof ohm meter from ground to the heating element will read through that resistor and I should have a reading of 97 to 104 ohms, which is indicating that my ceramic condition is near perfect. As you can clearly see, when I go between earth and the heating elements, I'm reading approximately 97.5 ohms on the front set of elements, 97.2 ohms on the middle set of elements, so that's an indication that my ceramics are in very good shape. When the hot zone is first installed and relatively new, the reading or resistance drop between the heating elements and ground should be nothing. As the ceramics become contaminated with process materials, it becomes necessary to keep a watchful eye on them. The installation of the resistors to ground on the secondaries is cheap, quick, and very beneficial, and very easy to retrofit on any piece of existing vacuum equipment. If you have any additional questions on this particular topic, please feel free to contact me directly at www dot uh, under Ask the Expert Question. Thank you.